what is up guys welcome to another video i hope that you guys are all doing good in this video we're going to break down things that mature men apparently do and women notice so without further ado guys let's get straight into today's video and do not forget to like comment and share because it helps us out in the algorithm let's get straight into today's video hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm courtney ryan and today we're reacting to a TikTok. So I've never reacted to a video on this specific topic mm. before and I thought that it was interesting. It's a bit of an older video actually, but this got 1 million likes on TikTok at the time of me recording this. So women clearly are seeing it and agreeing with what she's saying, just based on the likes alone and the comment section. So let's watch it together. Per usual, I might pause throughout the video just to elaborate on some things so that I don't forget and I have to do like a bigger recap at the end. So. Let's get into it. Okay, so the little text on the screen says, how do I know if I'm with a mature man? And the video is from Kasaya West. I don't know, it looks like a podcast. How do I know if I'm with a mature man? First of all, a mature man is not obsessed with social media. He might have it for business purposes, but he's not just sitting there. It's crazy that women can just say that out loud, that how do I know if I'm with a mature man? How do I know if I'm with a mature woman? Like these videos, when it comes to men, they do not exist because if they do exist, then they're getting banned, demonetized and all of that. So I think it's really unfair. The fact that women can be posting, spewing all of that garbage about, oh, he, he doesn't have to have social media and all of that. I'm just like, if a person has social media or not, it doesn't really I think change his maturity or not. I think it has to do with his kindness as a as a man, how kind, genuine he is, what he is to his community, and not if he has social media or not. That doesn't really matter. That's almost like saying, does he eat sugar or not? But you know, then again, this is women just nagging and complaining about what men do. Scrolling on social media, looking at girls, double tapping their pictures. So the first one is not obsessed with social media. I would absolutely agree on the looking at girls thing that she mentioned and liking their pics all the time, especially if you're in a relationship. If you're in a relationship and doing this, I would humbly invite you to rethink this, gentlemen. But generally, I can see what she's saying. Again, I think using social media for business purposes is very different than sort of mindlessly scrolling or spending all of your free time consuming content. What is wrong with looking at girls on social media? I don't understand that. Women do the exact same thing. We're not sitting and making videos about this. Imagine, just imagine, imagine me sitting down and saying, you know, I think a woman is very immature when she is looking at other guys on social media. You're like, that's just the way the game goes. If your girlfriend wants to cheat, she cheats. There's no stopping it. That's just how the game goes. But then again, as a man, you have to constantly evolve and you have to be a certain way. And I hate this whole like gaslighting, which people are doing right now on social media, or not only people, I mean like women are doing now on social media where they're constantly, they have these rules for us. And we can't, like, I can't even say, this is what I want in a woman. Because if I do, look at, look at, I'm not, I can't even mention his name. He's cast off social media. And, Everyone who has ever said anything about that, they're taken off social media. But every single day I watch videos like this where women are just like, my man needs to be this. My man needs to make six figures. I've never asked a woman to even make a cent. Never even, like I could be out on a date and I'm what, hanging out with the girl. And I know at the end of the day, I'm probably gonna have to pay and I'm not gonna get anything. But am I sitting and complaining and like, oh, I'm not, no. It's just like, as a man, you take her out, you pay. If you do not pay, she gets the ick. So what is the probability of men not paying? It's very low. It is just, and, and women know this. This is why I'm saying like, we have to stop with this manipulation and it just goes one way. It's a one way streak being sort of a doom scroller or again as she said obsessed <clears throat> with social media mm -hmm. you know when I think about a mature man just picturing him in my head the way that I would describe him is someone who can prioritize his responsibilities okay. manage their time wisely yeah. and leave room for their hobbies and their interests 
Now I can't say that I really think of doom scrolling on social media when I think about a mature man. So I can agree with her there. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily fair to say a man is automatically immature for enjoying social media from time to time. Again, she said obsessed. So if we're going just based on that, I would agree. I don't think being obsessed with social media is a mature thing or a healthy thing for men or women. Um, mm. But I would say it's more so about being able to properly manage your time. You know, if you prioritize your responsibilities, you get your stuff done and you have room for free time to enjoy yourself and to rest and to watch Netflix or get online from time to time, I don't think that that is an issue. But I also don't think that that's what she's talking about. She's saying someone who is obsessed. Mm. So all in all... I would agree with her. But then again, anybody which is obsessed with anything, that is not good for you. So if it has to do with maturity, okay. I would understand if she was saying both for men and for women, but she's saying it. But the other woman is literally just saying, this, this is an immature man. If he is obsessed with social media, then he's an immature man. But a woman, she can be posting thong videos or thong pictures or whatever, and no one even bats an eye. Let's look at point number two. The next thing is, if he can communicate his feelings to you without giving you an attitude, prioritizing communication over being angry. He can communicate his feelings to you without giving an attitude. Mm. Again, communication, the way you respond and react is important. I think a huge aspect of maturity absolutely points back to communication and the way that you communicate. Now, it's okay if we get an attitude from time to time. We are not perfect. We are human beings. It's okay if we aren't necessarily perfect all the time. But I think being open to communication and the way in which you go about doing this can speak volumes about where you're at emotionally, about your character, and about your communication, which again, points back to maturity. And specifically here, I would say emotional maturity. Mm. Communication is so important for every single type of mm. relationship, whether it be romantic, platonic, professional, I mean, it is so important. And I wouldn't just recommend this as something that you do with your romantic relationships. I think this is important for every aspect of your life. Now this involves having tough conversations, active listening, being open to constructive feedback okay. and criticism. A lot goes into communication. And I think a lot of people could use a lot of work on this. So, agreed. Next. He doesn't get weird about your- To that point, I have to agree. I think you always have to be calm, cool, and collected when it comes to women. And yeah, I've seen a lot of men sometimes, sometimes lose it. But then again, always be calm. Don't ever let her rile you up. We've all been there, we've all been in relationships, and sometimes we can get emotional. So if you're calm, cool, collected, and you handle everything with grace, I think that is a sign of maturity, so I agree there. Your time of the month. A mature man is not going to care about that. <laughs> I'm not saying he's going to go down on you or something okay. during that time. He's going to be caring to you about it. He's also going to be understanding of the fact that you're needing a little more love and affection, and affection and mm -hmm. you're maybe going to feel a little yeah. low energy at that point. If he's not understanding that, not a mature man. Doesn't get weird about your time of the month. I've got to say, this threw me for a loop. I was not expecting to hear this next, but I'll break it down. You know, I don't expect men to know every little detail about this. I'm sure there are things women don't completely understand about the male body. Um, <laughs> but I do think it's nice when a man is empathetic in general, but also during this time and doesn't act all like grossed out or that you're being dramatic. You know, we're adults here, we can grow up. But something else I'll say here from a woman's perspective for you guys. A woman's cycle is <clears throat> wild. And I actually think it can be incredibly beneficial to understand this about the woman in your life. I think it just sort of makes a lot of things such as mood, behavior, libido, all these type of things, it just makes it make sense. So if you wanna understand women on a deeper level, I think knowing this can actually be very beneficial. I know to some of you that will sound so silly, um, but again, it is very wild what we go through on a monthly basis. I'm not saying that for like pity or anything. I'm 28 years old, I'm pretty used to it at this point. But I think I'll even take a step back here and broaden it to a point of when men and women are empathetic towards each other and their struggles and they don't try to discredit you, uh, they don't try to one-up you and they just listen to you and are empathetic about different struggles that you might be going through, whether it be your time of the month or a problem at work or whatever it is. I think this is a very attractive and mature thing to do. I agree. 
100%. I think growing up with sisters, uh, I learned a lot. They taught me a lot. Uh, just hanging out with them, you know, the mood swings and all of that. So I think the best thing is growing up in a household with uh, females, then of course you learn to be more patient. Well, it's, it's attractive and it's mature when a man is empathetic and when he can listen to you and be kind and supportive. And I would say the same thing to men about women here. I think it's attractive and mature when a woman does that too, so. A mature man is not over drinking. A mature man is not over drinking, she says, and to that I would totally agree. You know, I don't drink at all. I've talked about this a lot on my channel, um, so perhaps I'm a bit more sensitive to this, but I think it is such a turnoff and such a red flag when a man is consistently getting drunk, blacking out, can't control himself, has no ability mm. to conduct himself in an appropriate manner. Like, you know, that in my eyes is incredibly immature. But it would also signal to me something deeper. I think a lot of men who overdrink, it's not necessarily an immaturity thing. I think it is a anxiety, depression. Yeah, society is just beating us down, my guy. That is, that is a problem. I 100% agree with that. And I think, yes, overdrinking is not a good thing. But let's say you're working for your family. You have a wife which is constantly nagging. She's going through her cycles, right? She's, she's doing the most. You got kids which don't respect you and you gotta be silent all of the time. So I can understand if a person then tries to get away, sits in his car and I don't know, drive for certain hours, goes, he over drinks like i understand that because it's what his environment which is pushing him to that right so i think yes she's 100 percent correct there over drinking is not a thing which should be celebrated in our culture but as well people go through things and the only way that he can relieve all this pressure is either sex gambling and booze i guess that's how it is. Struggling type thing. And they're using alcohol to cope with that. So I try to look at it in that way to have a little bit more empathy. Um, again, it is a turnoff to me. I would not be attracted to someone who was doing that, but I do think it often signals a deeper rooted issue that needs to be addressed. Um, and so for that, I can, I can extend an olive branch and, and give a little bit of empathy there because I know a lot of people are really struggling and a lot of people who are struggling turn to vices such as alcohol, yeah. drugs, shopping. I mean, there's a ton of different ways that people cope with things to sort of get themselves through it. And I don't agree with that, but I think a lot of people are really struggling. So again, can it signal immaturity? Totally. I mean, think about frat guys in college. Think about people doing dumb things. A lot of it points back to alcohol and just being immature. But again, I think for a lot of people, it is a deeper rooted depression, anxiety, really struggling mentally problem. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts when it comes to all of this jazz. Like, comment, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>